Test. Test. One, two. Test, one, two. Test, one, two. Yeah? All right. Has anyone been on mic so far today? Just Hayumi? All right. Yeah. Sink or swim. I'm going to probably go home and watch that match again because uh, when I turned my back, Junior Z was up a stock completely. So good comeback by Kami. I know there was definitely a good deficit in percentage before I uh, turned around and got on the mic here. So uh, round robin pools Thursdays. Uh, we are in Tempe, Arizona. We got Kira Flax in SoCal. We got Psyche in the building, SS. And it looks like we are in, um, not sure what pool number this is, but we got Junior Z and Kami. Um, good representatives of each of their characters here. Um, Kami definitely argued to be one of the best Mewtwo's in the state. And uh, Junior Z, solo maining Roy. I'm, well, I haven't seen him play any other characters. I, I think I've heard uh, maybe he's got a couple of others, but he is making some waves with that Roy. Well, um, at least he did at the last... Uh, I believe it was the Winter Arcadian, and he placed, I believe, third or fourth. So very good work, and uh, he's definitely not one to be uh, played with. Oh, Kami going for the Disable. Um, I think it definitely uh, gave Junior Z a breath of, uh, d definitely a second chance, because it's such a slow move, Junior Z was able to just run out of there. So, okay. Kami's definitely... I think that's, that was maybe the second attempt he tried at uh, fishing for the for the footstool to disable the Abadango special. So I'm sure at this point he's probably going to try a little harder to just go for uh, you know solid kill options because you know he's racking percent. And no, Roy is way too heavy. <laughs> yeah. And I think that'll probably do it uh, considering Mewtwo's rage and yeah that up throw is just devastating. It's like the Ness equivalent, just maybe a little weaker. And it goes upwards. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's always an interesting match to see between these two. Wow. And uh, I think that was probably just, just a little. It, it was just enough to not be a sweet spot. But wow, that up B is going to definitely do some work. Junior Z channeling in everything he's got right now. If we had face cams, he's uh, definitely focused, trying to make sure that he's uh, he still stays in this fight. He really needs his win. Oh, oh, we got Nair Chains. Wow. That was amazing. We got a 0 to about 50% combo. Such conversion that comes from that move. It's amazing. So, you know, Roy is uh, definitely my favorite Fire Emblem character, but uh, Kami's got an amazing Mewtwo. So let's see if he can uh, try to reset neutral here or make something happen to get some percentage back. So Junior Z definitely making the most out of that edge guard, and uh, I would definitely say that was a solid edge guard. He got some good percent. Kami's turn now. Let's see how he can capitalize. Oh, good pivot F tilt. Wow, that was really good awareness. But uh, didn't get as much as he wanted to on the edge, perhaps. Oh my goodness, down smash. I actually did not expect down smash of all of the options that he had. But, uh, you know, I don't know if Junior Z just, uh, you know, I'm going to credit and just say it was most likely just straight up read. Very impressive stuff. So Junior Z still hanging in there in this best of three round robin pools. We have about six pools, 55 entrants. Only top three of each pool comes out for a final top 18 bracket double elimination. It's hype, guys. We got Psyche in the building. We got Stroder in the building. We got Panda Global's very own SS in the building. We've got Lutai. We've got Felix. Very, uh, very similar to yesterday's attendance with uh, definitely a, a lot more new faces just for this Smash 4 only weekly going on here in Tempe, Arizona. So it's it's amazing, guys. We got Sink or Swim Thursdays, and these pool matches are just great. Now, Kami definitely doing good, waiting, pressuring with his presence off stage, waiting for an air dodge, but he didn't quite get that sweet spot down there to get a spike, just like he may have wanted to. But uh, Junior Z definitely back on stage. He has another chance here to get some percentage, and we definitely know how lethal those nares can be. Oh, okay, good DI on Kami's part to get out of a possible string here. And uh, Junior Z doing good at moving around, avoiding uh, getting, you know, several Nair strings here. Yeah, I think something that Kami needs to be, be wary of uh, is that with Roy, those, uh, you know, Mewtwo's amazing air dodge sometimes won't serve him as well because Nair just covers... It covers for a, a definitely a lengthy amount of frames, definitely more than enough in that in the area that it covers to you know cover the duration of uh, Mewtwo's air dodge. But uh, yeah, no, Kami definitely very good using that, that air dodge technique. But uh, you know, also credit to Junior Z, he he definitely has the timing down to punish that. 
So Kami is going to need some answers. Junior Z brought it back quick. Oh my goodness, scoops him up with an F-Smash. I would have to look back and see how he approached it. Looks like uh, Nair or Forward Air um, to try to trade, but that up smash, he just uh, he let it out at the right time. Oh my goodness, good patience. I think that was definitely a little bit of mind games because, uh, you know, Kami has been charging him. Oh my goodness, he did not let him land. That was impressive. All right, Kami moving around. Good little ledge cancel there, but he's going to pay for it with the dash attack. He didn't uh, prep himself right there in the neutral. Okay, I guess that doesn't matter. He's going to get a fully charged Shadow Ball connecting to Roy. Oh, man. Junior Z is just on the prowl here. Looking to get that grab. Okay. And, um... Yeah, no, we got a lot of good folks here today, people. I wish you guys could have seen the, uh... Wow, I can't believe that up smash scooped him up. Uh, Amdod versus SS was actually a very good game too. Um, Amdod was making it very convincing, but SS got a quick gimp and uh, yeah, no, it was actually pretty entertaining. That is a matchup we don't get to see often, Toon Link versus Villager. We don't have enough Villagers out here, I'll, I'll tell you that. All right, let's see Junior Z. And Kami with stage control with a fully charged Shadow Ball covers the landing. Junior Z very clever, recovering up high. Not having any of that. Okay, Junior Z with an option to cover landings. Okay, very patient, waiting for Kami to uh, see what options he's going to go for. Both at very high percent. Junior Z arguably right now at up throw percent. So I'm assuming Kami's definitely going to look for that the, the moment that he's able to land back on the ground. But Junior Z is going to make the most he possibly can out of this edge guard. What's going to happen? All right, we've got a lot of air dodges. Okay, a, a grab on Junior Z's part. Even though it won't kill, it's a definitely a good mix-up since he's been uh, approaching with no nothing but attacks. And the forward tilt is going to do it. My goodness. 